Hello, welcome back. Uh, very excited. Always exciting. Six o'clock. It's launch time for the next one day special. It's going to be a very special one. We're joined with Christina and Paula. Ladies, welcome back. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Um, good to see you. Um, now, Christina, for those who haven't seen you much before, um, how long have you been crafting for now? Oh. Ten years doing ten this. Years. Ten years That's doing brilliant. the craft. Oh, what does crafting mean for you then? It's, it's quite a big passion of yours. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. I've only found card making ten years ago. Up until then, I've decorated, painted, knitted, crocheted, made clothes. I've done all sorts. Amazing. It's brilliant. I know Paolo has been crafting many years and you absolutely <laughs> love it. So we've yes. got two passionate people here. It's brilliant. Um, so what's the one day special all about then, Christina, we've got today? It's a brand new set of dies that will make you the most beautiful box. Right and lots of cards to go either in the box or standalone. But beautiful. there's lots of opportunities with these dies. They're beautiful. Well, uh, this is your latest collection, so mm -hmm. you must both be very proud uh, to be a showcase in this. But I know you've got lots of demonstrations, perhaps. So if you'd like to get ready for this, Christine, okay. we'll see you shortly. Thanks okay. very much. Uh, Miss P. Hello. Miss P, welcome to you also, of course. Thank um, you. Right. Okay, so uh, by the way, uh, just to let you know, we have a running competition on Facebook uh, and uh, we have announced the winner. We want to announce the winner because you've done that person to actually buy it, you know. Um, she won the one day special. It is Laurel. Laurel, thank you very much. Laurel Gorston, I think I pronounced that right. We will be in contact. So, Laurel, thanks very much. You have won this. But, however, this is going to be a big one. Now, Pala, it how is. important is this collection? Oh, I think it's very important because we all like shaped cards. We all like the circular kind of aspects, but to make a box that is circle is impossible. It is. Hence, we are presenting you the Octagon Christmas um, Octagon Christmas Card Making Magic Box Kit. It's a six by six. Basically, if you have got a, an octagon that is six by six, will fit here, but you are included in total 35 de dice. And you are also getting the frame uh, you know, the octagon frame box right. size. And what allows you to create is, if I show you this sample in here, so this is the, fr the frame box. Oh, so it, falls, frame. it creates that perfect kind of frame that is an octagon. It's a quite clever way that we have designed this to be able to cut it out of a two A4 pieces of paper. And Christina will show you how to do it. And of course, so Part it's a box kit and frame kit. Yeah, so you have got there, we have got the card. So elegant, power. And then you have got the box as well with all the oh, dice sorry. that Bye -bye. match it <laughs> <laughs> kind of layer on top of each other. The trellis die, the dice that cut into the card. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, it's immaculate. So it's, it's, it's perfect, isn't it? It's perfect. Isn't it? And it is, yes, it does have a slight Christmas theme, but it's all year round because instead of giving you Christmas, uh, happy Christmas, we have got one yeah. wishes as a sentiment. We well, have got giving you flowers. We have got giving you but look at that this is the frame the frame box the octagon here look at that how you can create quickly and easily I mean we actually I have to say we put this within 10 minutes from a start to finish just before the show and that one as well and think what papers you've got think what backgrounds you're going to create from these and you say Christmas of course it is but we can take away the Christmas elements quite you easily can. if we you can. just want the structure like to make the base of a box if, it can be all year round it. if you have got if you want to give uh, cards with texture heavily embellished heavily embellished which yeah. is what Christina does it, Christina loves those embellishments just those 3D flowers you have to present them in a way that is not just with an envelope you sure. want a box but of course until now there was not a box that created that you know, octagon, octagonal uh, aspect that will give you the, the lid and, and then you with the same die you create the bottom and then you have got here that beautiful shadow or sh you know like even could be a shaker box if you, yeah. you, if you want to put a acetate you and could put do that. like beads and things like that but also I want to show you this sample this is all the Christina. same bundle then this we haven't moved away from this, this bundle this Christina has made this gorgeous look at that yeah it's it might be a bit light to that box actually from when it was well we have been nice told not to eat any chocolates and we they're have real to, they're lovely they are absolutely <laughs> <laughs> real. Um, uh, so you can see how it cuts. Uh, that die is included in the set, so it cuts into the card. And you have got a lot of possibilities. And also, I wanted to this show This caught my eye. This one. Now, Christina has done very cleverly, measured the sides of the lid, and then just cut uh, and score those panels to create that. So you could create it any height you wanted, as long as the width of those panels are the same one. So you just use a uh, you know, scoring tool, but it's the important thing is the you know the lid and the bottom that is done with the cake. So we're thinking lanterns and so on, aren't we, with this? It's going to look beautiful. Yes. But I've seen like you know, cakes been um, presented 
something like oh, Panettone be, yeah. ones. I've seen you know, that. You know what I would love Palatone. to do? Something like this, because obviously the the, sh um, the shadow or the frame um, octagon box um, fits in a frame, sorry. It's just kind of the words no, I there. I know exactly you what you mean. You could do like little layers and here of different chocolates, Turkish delights, Oh, sweets. now you're talking. Um, oh, then you could do Bit like fudge. There you are. Oh, are. I like you it. You know, you could do also like little, you know, the, so the smell is like... So you put it in layers. Layers. Or I know somebody who likes Glass a of lot cherries. of uh, melts uh, that you can melt. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Um, melts for, um, you know, for the kind of a candles, like little tea-like candles. So you can... A little wax melt. melt. So, so present I know what them you like these different layers and then you can do different different height. Shall well, we see what you get, yeah, the actual dyes? Choose the dyes, yeah. Oh, I see. So this is... Everything in one yes. one big bundle. So we put it on our own boards yes, just to show I, yeah. you. Yeah, we did that so you can show because obviously they come in in cardboard envelopes, which is perfect for a storage. Well, already, nice Paula, the structure yeah. that's the main piece. So you that's can leave this out if you want yeah. to. So now that will cut both the top and the 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 top and bottom of the, uh, the of the box. So that is the outer one, and that is then you have got the six by six octagon die uh -huh. that we can cut the cards if you wanted to, if you wanted to mat and layer, and then you have got matting and layering that goes inwards. But also we have got the holly, three sizes of poinsettias, ivy, berries. But uh, what I love about them is that they are. The arc can be Christmassy, but they are not too poinsettia, if you know. That's what. true. They could be very much like uh, daisies. You, or could, you can layer them up. Or you? you can layer them up. As, and then that gorgeous trellis die that also included with that double stage uh, detail. Now That's going to look very decadent. It is very decadent. With the warm wishes. It's just that, that there, yeah. isn't it? So for your pearls, for your you know dro liquid drops, you have got those centers in there as well. Yeah, and, and then, then we have got this one is the one that cuts like this. You know, it looks so that's random. the frame bit then, is it? Yes, indeed. So you die cut two, and then you fold inwards to create those sides. Right. Now then, what you do is you, you you glue them together like so, and hence that's what you get. Oh, I see. So the the shape of these ones are a little bit awkward, and you think, why are they like this? It's because when you fold it, you glue first ones, those ones, and you put a little dab of glue, and then when you glue them Pam, together, that's really clever. It is, that's isn't it? really clever, because honestly, trying to because it's going to be structurally quite exactly. quite supportive too. And then there to is no like the hinges are completely Miss hidden away. Miss uh, well, brilliant collection. This is yeah. this is wonderful. Um, so there are the dies, and just brief the actual yes. cuts you can create. Because it's worth showing because harmonised little cards that you can use. Ignore that for a minute. That's yeah. just a lovely bundle. This is this is all together. I mean, you're getting that plus this. I mean, there's so much into here. It's, I don't think I, I'm explaining. I get so excited about this collection because there's so much. Remember, that you're getting 30, uh, you know, 35 dies in total in there. We don't well, look at all the combinations that you've yeah. got from here. But look at that, how beautiful it layers, how elegant. A stamping, your mixed media, create the cards and blanks. You know, that will match perfectly on a six by six, a square card, if you wanted to. You yeah. have got the sides as well. Those ones cut into the card as well. And plus, you are getting all the different sizes from this one. So you are getting, and not, uh, no sizes are repeated. So you are getting all, this, all the dies. All the sizes of so the octagon. So what do you use like the smaller ones for then, do you think? So this one, for instance, well, I'm sure I'm going to show you. Uh. In this one, I mean, I haven't done it here, but if you wanted to highlight this one, you could, but for a sentiment, a, style, right. a tiny I get you. sentiment, you could put it in here. If you wanted to do like a pattern or, of, you know, die cut several ones and then different pattern papers and create a background with them. There is so many ways of using them. Instead of just not putting, you, we have given you as many as we could fit in there. Yeah, so you have. have got all the hexagons. So you you can create all those layers, all those frames, by combining both sets together. Well, I'm glad a lot of the embellishments you've based around Christmas because we we, we spy, spend a lot of money, a lot of us, on presents for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, question is really, when you send somebody or present somebody with a gift, do you wrap it up? The chances are probably yes. We do. We wrap it. It's, it's traditional. We, it's what we do. It builds up the height of suspense. So you might as well wrap it up in a very elegant way. Yes. And uh, we're saying gifts. Cards are gifts. If it's a handmade card, yes. it deserves a box. You know, something around this kind of size, why not? Make that into a box. That's what it deserves. If you spend the time and effort, 
That promises an awful lot, doesn't it? Yeah. And again, you are saving five pounds in this one day special. Uh, we are absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of calls on the phone now. Do go on the website if you can do hochanta.com. It's actually 37 dies, not 35. It's 37 dies, guys. So it's 994-613. Save that five pounds. You will never see this bundle ever again. After six o'clock tomorrow, even if stocks do last, you will never see this again. It's a limited time offer. If you attempt to buy it, grab it. I just think the amount of money I spend on packaging, I know it's a different shape, but like uh, boxes, yeah. bottle bags and things like this. It's I just I feel daft spending that when I can get the tools to keep making them for, it, it, forever. And, and the other thing is like, if you want to like me, like, I love circular cards. I like octagon cards. I like things that are a little bit more, you know, softer. Yeah. Uh, there is no way of, of, you know, creating easily a circular box. This creates such an easy way well, to create. And, and, and you can put a circle perfectly in the middle and it's a perfect. Well, and then you can layer things on top of it. You can actually create, if you overlap the hinge on the card, you can actually make an octagon shaped card. Yes, to actually exactly. fit inside exactly. the box. And you can make them in any size within here. What you could even do is, is kind of, if you, if, if you are using this one, yeah. Yes. Is this put the card like this and then I cut it a second time? So you would do a, that. There is a lot of different ways that you can use it. Create theme frames, you create. I love how the octagons as well, they kind of overlay onto each other. So there is a lot of different ways of um, using them. An octagon is one of those ones that keeps the shapes. So if you have got any die that has got like, you know, like a trellis die or something like that, that is a, a circular, they will work with octagons they'll, of for course sure. They'll, they'll you know, fit, they in, will fit they? in it, as well as squares. So it's like squares, octagons, and circles work together Never really well. Never thought about squares. You wouldn't have thought, because the amount of even size, because no, it's eight it size, is, isn't it? it? Eight size. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice. four times two. Uh, yes. Of course it's yeah. going to work. <laughs> what was, you must go for an octagon. Exactly. We love octagons. Exactly. Uh, there you go. Say five pounds, six pounds, 98. Limited time offer. Again, it's not out of the ordinary for one of these specials to sell out before the allocated time period. So I'd absolutely grab it to your basket and get this out now. This is about wrapping presents, uh, wrapping gifts. And again, the box is going to be a gift in itself, isn't it? Uh, we have got demonstrations, of course, lined up for you. So do hang in there. Um, right. Already... 10% has gone. Bit awkward, because we're not even 15 minutes in. 10%'s already gone. This is the first launch show. It's going to last 24 hours, hopefully, but 10%'s gone, not sure. Um, right, now that we've also got the easel. Now this, honestly, um, if it's going to be displaying Anything look like scrapbook pages or the front cover or like photos? Oh, cards. Cards are handmade cards are beautiful and we should treasure them and we should present them and display them in a way that is with respect. And I think the, the one day is special with that octagon creates the most beautiful octagon cards. It creates the most beautiful frames. What a better way to display that having a die that you can die cut time and time again and it will create the perfect easel to display. You can see here how the one day is special. Sorry, I always have got an issue with the left hand. Right. So <laughs> but you can see how it will fade in here. Uh, sorry, it's just up there. It is perfectly. So you can see how it works perfectly for the octagon box frame, but also for larger cards, the A5. It will work for uh, smaller cards if you want it horizontal as well as vertical. So if I put it like this, you can see how it Beautiful. will work. Any size right. card, really, isn't it? it An is. eight by eight would go in there. Indeed, indeed, it will. So it's taller and uh, taller and wider than the the, the easel that we before we have presented to you. You can see how the beautiful intricate uh, detail will you can use it for the cars you can see how it has been used in there or also i think it has got like the shape of a boot as well it could be like it almost be, yeah. an elf elf like you know yeah it could uh, be yeah so you can see there that the intricate now because this is such a large intricate die i will say that depending on your die you will need an a4 die cutting machine right and you know it it's is such an intricate die that some of the your die cutting machines you may have to uh, run it a couple of times. Sure, so sure. That this is just what, but it is a very large die, as you can see I can here. Yeah. Look at that. It's a large die. It isn't is it? a very large die, but it's not one; it's two, because then you have got the option ah. of die cutting. So if it's for so blokes, if yeah. it's for guys, you might exactly. just want this, for example. Yeah. Vice versa, you know. Or if you wanted to have a more intricate, so you put nice, the overlay. You know. Or you want to use the overlay up for the cards as well. So you have got all those options in there. Joe, you know this is all that respect for car making, really, the show, because yep. we're talking about wrapping them up. You're right, Parrot. They deserve to be displayed in an elegant way. This is putting them on a podium. 
This is shining the light on it. Yeah, in, it in, is. Uh, in it some is. Degrees. It's just, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And that on a mantelpiece, you get, you're going to see that. It could be menus, you know, a wedding. That's you want to display a that. Good idea. So you could have one for ta well, table plans, yeah. you know, and so on. And, and if you're selling your ca your your cards, uh, you can uh, the priceless or so you, instead of personalized yeah. messages like you know you can advertise different ways. You can change it, just print it out nicely. Uh, what I wanted to say is that the also the way because it's a die, you can die cut it as many times as you want and here what we have done I uh, think Kim has made this one uh, so Kim has die cut into the cream and then layer it all over it with on the gold and then to give it more strength another piece of card black in here so it's three layers so it is so perfect build up if you want for to. The, uh, uh, heavier cards if you wanted if you wanted you could also create like um, even more love for tri tripod so glue it like this so if you had something really big and really heavy then that would give it more even uh, even a foot at the behind and and that even more s um, S uh, stability. stability. Um, so there's a lot of different ways of using that gold. But it's not actually just that, is no, it? No, exactly. So I have just been talking. That, that, there's, there's more. Yeah. There's more as well. Yeah, there is a lot more. So here we have got the poinsettia wrap. Now this is a perfect way to create quick and easy Christmas cards if we wanted to because it will cut in one go this one for instance and it's perfect to just stamp the sentiment to put a beautiful flowers in there to layer with that gorgeous and then here we have got in, in uh, as well as that die we have got the, those gorgeous flowers that cut into the cards without detail which is the poinsettia and then we have got the holly and the little berries but also we have got the two dies separate dies if I show you exactly what I mean. Is anyone else thinking napkin win? You know, that would be really nice. You know, imagine a yeah. band going around a candle. Obviously, take it off before you light it. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, but going around a wine bottle, a little that gift. That would be really nice. But oh, a napkin! Know. I've got to do that. You know, yeah, a napkin would work really well. A band well. around the crackers, Christmas crackers. That would work. It'd be really and nice. And you can just put it around any box because we have designed them to make them for any of the sizes from Christina's. Whether it is the the uh, uh, the uh, six by six octagon that we have got, whether it's the six by six square, whether is the uh, A5 the, the length of it will give you the, the the optimal which is just above I believe just above eight and a half inches well, I forgot so well, sorry. But the numbers uh, but and you can me see the are size. not mixed together so well. this is an A4 piece of card yes. we've got right here um, what the black bit card is uh, adhered to so it gives you an idea of the size so it's uh, £25.98 save that £4 it's 784051 the, this could be a one day special really actually so it's brand new something so striking it warrants to be a one day special though it's not 10% again actually has gone of this one so maybe a lot of people go for the one day special and going for this this is card making magic life on her channel with Paula and Christina second bundle we've showed you this is absolutely flying out I'm so pleased oh it's good vertical actually isn't Paola. it doesn't it Christina I think really Christina has made this one but it could go either way isn't it just doesn't gorgeous that work well? so you can put ribbon through it pearls through it there's so many different ways that you can do it well very nice indeed again uh, do dial the number 01733 Six zero two thousand. Now, just briefly, we have got sentiment tags. Now, um, we've got two brand new bundles. We've got a third brand new bundle for you. This is very exciting. Uh, we've got a lot. Actually, do shop it on the website hochanza.com. Yes. Uh, Paula, um, yes. go on. Let's fly through this. What have we got? I have to say, this is one of my favorite sets. It's right. really cool. And if you like uh, words, like I love words, and I think these ones are, uh, they come with the tags. So the tags, the outside shape is, each one is kind of layers on top of each other, if you know what I mean. There is no repeating patterns, although the outer shape is the same. You have Noel, Warm Wishes, Peace, Merry and Bright, with that beautiful script font. And you not only get the, the the sentiment but you also get in the outer layer if you right, know what okay. I mean yeah. so you can create like you can see here that you get the dye that cuts merry and bright in white and then you get the the, cut, the dye that cuts into re the red as, as well as the tag can you see with that the stage detail for the Marian Bride you're getting oil but you don't like it's just such a cool way to have that you know, tags for Christmas is so useful to have to, you can personalize your present, your cr sentiments in your cards. You know, I love how you can go in from that little tiny tag. Well, it's not that tiny, it's about two inches by three and a half inches. And it's a really have fun font, but isn't you, it? Oh, it is gorgeous. Great fun font. It allows itself to be used for more, you know, mixed media sort of projects, whether you want to be more modern, whether you want the pretty traditional. Tis modern. Yeah, tis modern. You know, you can go either way, whether you want to layer it in 
in there you can see there's no tag in here just you just want to use it is there is absolutely perfect just the tags on their own would be smart so take away the words yeah but again it's not just yeah it's really not just christmas especially this one here yeah. that's just a lovely stitch detail it's stitch detail that one is let me see if but i can none find of them it are no. actually christmas if you don't want them to be oh sorry just dropped a knife do I need to go downstairs How and grab rude. it? Pa Pa's going down to the basement just to pick up them. Um, again, saving that £3 is £20.96 for this. Oh, yeah, but I threw that quite far, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. You, you wanted me to crawl over <laughs> Went the, to the floor. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can Never, Paula. Uh, right, so there you have got... I love that the stitch detail is just so original and you can use it in different ways. I love how all the sentiments mix and match as well. So you have got more or less the same size. So you, whether you want to mix and match the ta different tags you make. Well, you can do, can't you? Um, again, this is really good fun set, but it can be very elegant if you want it to be... Oh, do you want that piece one, actually? I do like that, that tag there. But if you need a tag set, this could be the only tags yeah. you'll ever need to buy. It's quite yeah. simple as that. Saving money as well, three pounds. Introductory price, and it was as new today. It's at four six three nine seven three. Now, if I just got an embossing folder and a die set, Miss yes. P, yeah. do tell, do tell. Do tell, I tell you. Mm. Well, here you have got. I love this bundle because it has got like a big bold bubble, bubble, bubble Christmas ornament. A bubble. Bubble. I cannot pronounce it. You know, Christmas ornaments. Uh, then it has got that beautiful frame embossing folder that adds the, 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 and then you have got the sentiment. So this makes a lovely kit to make completely from start to finish uh, Christmas cards in there. Create your actual Christmas ornaments for your tree by die cutting several ones of them and fold them together and glue them together. Look at that gorgeous with pattern paper. What about creating your Christmas cards? There, it's a large one so you can stamp on it. It's perfect if you like to do go a little bit inky. But also the, the the ornament has got different elements to it. It's four dies in there. So you have got the holly with the little dots with that top of it, the more ornament and that beautiful bow. But of course the sentiment is isn't greeting with that Again, that sort of same font descriptive with that gorgeous flow to it. And also it has got that matte and layer, so it die cut it out of vellum and then it gives you that, I don't know, that certain element of sophistication. Yeah, it is, and well makes it is. It makes the stand out, the sentiment. I just love the font, I just love how it commands the attention. And sometimes for Christmas, you just want to do messy backgrounds and just stick a sentiment in it. And this is a perfect set for that. It is, isn't it? Beautifully said. And uh, do you want to go see? Yes. Probably can't say it. That, oh, you beat me yeah. to it. No, they're all smart. It. You can see pattern paper, foil paper, all the techniques that you want to do. Look at that, how you can obviously w use with another uh, sentiment in there. What about using it with, I love this one, creating that aperture because it's a bold, beautiful image that will fit perfectly on an A6, on an A2, American American A2, but also onto larger cards. And look at that one. Again, pattern paper in there. And using the Marion Bright from the there. previous. Um, yeah. They're the beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, the Marion Bright. Kind of kind of Christmas card yes. you can create with these, actually. I, exactly. I mean, I always think that with uh, Black Red. I know it's more to it than that, but they're, they're, they're a really good, fun, vibrant yes, set palette. Individually, all work together. Uh, £73, £14, pounds 97 023 uh, it is a cracking price yeah. isn't it it really is okay. for all of that and it's I brand new can oh, we sorry. show this one because yes. it has got your your favorite gilding wax but more importantly it, uh <laughs> well I, uh, you, you don't stop half one, yeah. that, <laughs> but also it has got you know how you can use the embossing folder as well on through there there you go um it's a great deal Again, if your basket totals 60 pounds or more, you can stagger the cost interest free. Now, just briefly, because need 25. Uh, right, these are the lazy, lazy ribbons that I hear. I'm gonna say, I sure I sure meant lazy, lazy, lazy ribbons. Ribbon. Uh, well, these are quite, these are quite active uh, ribbons. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know. Well, and if you want to be lazy with them and you're going to you create can. beautiful details. Maybe you should rename them. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Because dice, <laughs> dice is what they do. They do all the hard work. So if you're a lazy crafter like myself, die cutting is... You're not hard. lazy, Paula. Well, crafter, I like things quick and easy. Therefore, you yeah, can... Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually get very good results every single time. <laughs> well, this is quick and easy as well, isn't it? So, uh, it is this beautiful card. So now these ones in here, you have got the beautiful ribbon die set. You get ten dice in total. So this one will cut it into the card and out of the card by having, by the virtue of, if I show you the die, that one will cut into the card, and then you have got the border that you can cut it out yeah. either side. 
and then you have got that beautiful motif in there but also because you have got the same thing happens in this other one in here and remember you are getting all of them and then you can cut into the card creating those gorgeous um, um uh, apertures into your uh, c boxes cards and so much more but also you in get included you are getting those beautiful uh, ribbons in yeah, here that yeah. will cut like a grow grain different widths so you oh can does it through. yes so it embosses the oh detail. I see I never noticed that bit yeah, actually so it's like a that always uh, evokes a sense of value it does doesn't, grain, it? doesn't it so you can create your own ribbon as well as that beautiful lace Miss P, loving this. You are too. Selling that seven pounds. It's twenty-four pounds ninety-eight. We've got one more. Yes. Oh, there's a box there, Paula. <laughs> Don't trip over that, will you? Like, a, like silly. Yeah. There we go. I um, just, you know, I, yeah. Oh, keep you on edge, like, didn't that you? Could, that could have Classic been quite funny. No, Classic Charlie, actually. <laughs> it was actually. Falling over things. It, yes, uh, leave it. it. <laughs> Dimension. A yes. ladder. No, the ladder, no. Right now, then, what we got here? Right. So here we have got the sentiments. Now we have got an. To me, this is a really good uh, set of bundle. You don't often see, and we often need, sentiments in different languages. Whether we want it to just as a background, whether we want we have got friends like, you all do have a Spanish friend here, uh, so you want <laughs> to say Feliz Navidad, whether you want to say uh, you have Italian, Buon Natale, or just have that beautiful embossing folders, folder just to create that background into the, and you're gonna, gonna say, this is the embossing folder, and you can see in the background how it says gorgeous, gorgeous words in there, so it kind of subtly inter so, so what languages we got here just, just recap so, so we, we have got, got Feliz Navidad which is Spanish we have got Buon Natale which is Italian George no Noel is French uh, then we have got that and um, German uh, that I think is either is um, Dutch I think beloved is Dutch uh, then we have got in there as well. I mean, even if it was just that, it's it's a yeah. good, it's a lot. I do, do I do, I do love Spanish. I'm not saying that because you're here. No, Paulus right. teach me Spanish when I was in Tenerife, weren't you? Yeah. Weren't you right. Uh, but you know what though? It's so we just uh, there's a romance surrounded by different languages featuring them in, in cards. And, and it's not, and you are getting the stamps as well. So therefore, you can just you have them for stamping with your background in there. And also, you have got that beautiful joy to the world, which I believe is such a gorgeous. Uh, right. Um, cracking deal there again 61 65 now look we know we've been chatting but we've had a lot to go through yes. we don't want to you to miss out on all of these deals we're all about the demonstrations here but it's only fair we give you an opportunity to actually get what we got of course too uh Paolo, thanks yeah. very much shall i go and see christina yes, of course see you later, my That's friend. The one important. Uh, now we have got the uh, the box cut on the show now um, i've got to say for the amount you get it's perfect value. You're saving three pounds, but it's actually more than that. You're getting embossing folder. We've also got some dies there. We've got some cuts. We've got some stamps there. And by the way, 76 projects. There's a lot there. Even if it's just to learn the skills, for 9.99, if I had all of this, all this knowledge in, a, in, in one place for me, I would think that's a good value. You might be thinking, John, I like the ideas, but I just want to get those freebies. It's like getting them free. Well, it all comes included, put it that way. Because uh, if you like me and you go into a shop, you try and work out what comes with the magazine, this is it, uh, good for you. So save that three pounds. I think it's more than that, personally. But uh, that's what we're getting. Uh, that, yeah, there's more than tens, 10 pounds worth of goodies here, aren't there? But that's what you're getting. Uh, it's uh, 632941, and that is brand new. Uh, issue number two, very exciting. Um, Christina, thanks very much. So we're having a chat there, but we've got a lot on the show. We uh, do. It's rude doctor, isn't it? Um, so thanks for hanging on for us. What that's have we got right. to show us? We're going to show how you use both of these, but we're going to do them in separate parts. A good idea. So, so this is the one day special now. Yeah, this is the one day special. Your collect latest collection. This is the bit that will cut the the actual box for you. Right. And it just fits on an A4 sheet of card. Perfect. So there's no wastage because you can always keep that bit at the bottom to cut something else with. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just pop this in the machine. Okay. okay. And we'll run it through. And so that it doesn't move, I'm just going to tape it down. Now you need to cut two of these and you will need an A4 cutting platform. Right. And that's like the base of the box. No measuring, no scoring. No measuring, no scoring. And you can do it as often as you want and you can create the most beautiful boxes for your gifts, your cards, 
um, you know, pop a silk scarf in there, pop chocolates in it like I did with that one. I like the idea. Was and it this I, one here? Yes, that's I the one. I should know because there we go. <laughs> they, they, they work really well, don't they look beautiful? Don't they just? What a nice <laughs> gift for people. <laughs> oh, the box yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, those chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. Really, really well, nice. That's it. And now, I, I promise you faithfully that over the weekend, I will show you how to extend this right. to make this box. That's amazing. So between, uh, so the show's tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, and then I've got that. Facebook Live on Friday with Croftstash. Of course you have. So yeah. once I get home, I promise faithfully that I will make this Thank box. Thank you very much. And how do we find you? It's on it. YouTube, aren't you? Yes, I've also got, well, I put all my videos on YouTube, but then I put them onto my blog. Oh, fantastic. Which is Flowers, Ribbons and Pearls. Right, OK. And so all the instructions will be there. OK, lovely. So, once That's you've cut stuff. this out, right, you're going to cut two. And here's one I did earlier. Because I've, I haven't brought any blue card with me. Right. <laughs> so, I've cut that now and I've cut it twice. So, I'm going to fold all these in. And these are all just... Oh, this is the frame, isn't it? Sorry. Let's start again. No, we're all good. We're all good. We're all sorted. We're sorted, aren't we? Right, we've cut this Jumping twice. Jumping ahead. We are. We're going to the wrong bit. Thanks, Kristen. So we've done this. We're going to fold it in. And we're going to fold these little tabs down as well. Just like that. Do you want to do that one? I certainly can. Oh, wait a minute. So you're just going to fold it in along the crease line. Oh, right, that, that way. way in. Yeah. yeah. And then fold your tabs in. Very nice. Because the tabs are going well. to glue it together for you. And some, you know, I've seen some dies, they just sort of mark it rather than score it. This actually properly scores yes, it. Yes, it this, is. It? No measuring, I don't do measuring, you see. No. no. Well, I got fed up of measuring and that's why I brought dies out. It's tedious, out. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I just want to get this? on with the interesting bits of well, crafting. Wanna, well, and what is the interesting bit for this? Surely it's like matching the colours, yeah, finding what cardstock you've got. Putting the flowers on it, yes. finishing it off with some ribbons Definitely. and the pearls. Okay. Now, once you've done that, keep one on one side. Turn this, because this card is the same on both sides. But if it's not, keep your good side facing you. And on these little tabs, you're just going to add some glue. Very nice. Now, you need a strong glue because PVA. these have got to keep the box together. And this is the foundations of the one-day special, which, by the way, is going... We're nearly a quarter of the stock gone. This, this is in half, just over half an hour. Nearly a quarter of the entire stock's gone, OK? So uh, if you're tempted okay. to buy it, I would grab it. So once you've got your glue on, you're going to keep that tab folded back and you're going to marry up this piece. OK, just the same well, as you would... It lines up perfectly, doesn't with it? ...with any other box, yes. And I have some pins somewhere. Right. I can hold something if you want. I did have. I can't find them. It's OK. We'll just glue these together. OK. So we're going to complete that all the way around so that they all stick. Clever design. So what, what do you do about, like, if you want a box lid, then? You've got the box lid. I'm going to show you how to so do that. So you've got two different ones? No. Same die? It's exactly the same die. Right. It's just the same. It works just the same. Liz has joined us. As all the other um, box lids in the set. And it's the way you, you fold it. It's the way you do it that makes the difference. OK. Now, then, you're going to do exactly the same with that one. So that's your bottom. Yeah. Any of these dies will fit in there for you to line it. So you could line it with um, this colour. Yeah. With that in it. Should we make a lining for it? We could it? do that, couldn't we? Do that. And uh, you, you've got a, a selection of nesting dies, really, and they're all scaled down. So if you want to have a card, uh, if you want to make the base of a card using all these dies, imagine that scaled down to fit inside. It's going to be very smart indeed. Very smart. It is. And um, these dies are not the same size as these. Right, OK. So if you've got that large outer one, yeah. the larger one in this will sort of fit inside I, I it. I see, I see. OK. Well, you get a lot, doesn't So it? let's just do... You do get a lot. You get an awful lot of dies. OK. 
and there's so much you can do with it. Once you start to play, which is what I was doing with that, well, I wonder if I could do this. And of course, once you've done it, that's, yeah. that's what I've got. That's what you get. So yeah. what I'm going to do with that is, is make lots of them for Christmas, because that at the moment is filled with um, smelly goods, right. you know, talcums and things. I know, So I know. I'm going to do that for my girls, and I'm going to give them one each for Christmas. But I didn't tell you that, so they don't know if they're listening. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's still a surprise, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the fun bit. There's so many different configurations, combinations to use this. And we talk about value being saving five pounds, but value for me is how often can we use this for time of the year? The answer to that is all year. All year All around. year. You just take away the Christmas bits. But I think um, well, I'd probably buy the most presents for Christmas, because obviously in, in one go. Yeah. So I'm actually quite pleased that the focal point designs are based around Christmas. It makes sense. Yes, it, it makes does. Sense. Obviously, I've got birthdays and you know random housewarming, baby shower gifts, all those sort of things. But the main presents, really, I would guess, I'd buy for yeah. or for Christmas. So. So there's your layer, and that will fit nice and neatly inside your box. Okay. Very nice. Now comes to doing the top bit. So we're going to add our glue on the tabs exactly the same as we did before. When I can find where I've put my glue. Uh, oh, you just had it. I know I have. Where does it, where do... Wh I don't know. There's where does it go? There's gremlins. Do you, do you pack it in the box? No. no. So we'll use this one instead. There we are. No, no, it's actually... Have it's actually, dropped it? Is it? Oh, it's oh, it. Oh, it's there. Oh, isn't that <laughs> funny how that happens? <laughs> it, it's, he pinched it, didn't he? Got it? Oh, that <laughs> the gremlin. Hey, he's a good lad. Okay. Never gets enough glue. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just what Pamela was saying earlier on about the odds can, it can uh, uh, if you use like circles, like you've got circular cards or square cards, it doesn't look out of place with the odds can. Obviously square, you know, you've got four sides versus the odds can eight sides. Yeah. So it, it works. I'd never thought of it that way. You, you've got so Great many idea. choices, especially if you've got some of the other sets that are in the collection. OK, now you've got it glued, stick it on top of your base, yep. all right? And then you can start to fold it in. Oh, I see, see, that's how you so get... So you're actually... Slightly not, bigger. Yeah, you make it slightly you're bigger. You're moulding it now, aren't you? Yes. So if you don't glue it perfectly, the base, does it matter? Because is it going to, like, mould around it yours? Matter. Yeah. I like it, I get you. I mean, if I'm to hold or nothing. Well, I just do be being an octopus at the moment. There we yeah. go. Sorry, you want to, I'm not sure. See, because it's not sticking. If you just to hold the tabs down, Charlie, it'll stick. There we go. I've got one flap here. Okay. And I've got another one. There right, we go. One more flap there. So if it's not fitting, there we you go. can always just move the tabs out a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Until it does. I've got this pretty snug over here, I think. <laughs> I won't lie. I mean, should we leave it like this? <laughs> but that's, this could be a, a box for guys, can't it? Yeah, of this could it be can. For, This could be for anyone, absolutely anyone who's yep. going to receive a gift. OK, you so know. once it's stuck, you now have Perfect. a separate lid and a base. OK. And then the fun bit is, we're going to look at how we're going to decorate. Think what paper oh, you've got, think what yeah. paper packs you've got board with that's, this. That's the best bit for me, decorating it. Yeah. So you could cut this out. So what do you start with first if you decorate it? I know there's many different combinations but what's your school of thought on this? Like where do you where do you begin? I like to choose my colours. Right. Um, do you get some more laid out as well in front of you? Do you mix and match? Yeah but not just not just at the start of making a card. Sometimes I because I print a lot of papers off. Right. Um, okay. You know, from CDs or, or those that... Um, I know, CD-ROMs and things. Yeah, or some that are downloadable, things like yeah, that. Yeah. So I print them off and I see what works with what. And it's only then that you realise, you know, that strange colours do look really well together. Right. Because they work in nature out in the field, so yeah. why don't they work Green with cards? Duh. Yeah, whoever said green and blue should never do is lying. Yeah. It's perfect. And pink, and, pink and yellow are yeah. a really nice. As long as you pick the right shades. I guess that's true, isn't it? It's the right shades, yeah. Yeah. Right, now that's not cut all the way through. So it's in there where it's not cut. So all I'm going to do is just shim that little bit. Okay. 
whilst doing that, can I share this box again? Do you mind? No, because not if at you all. just join us, the one day special, um, it can be anything from this width to to that, or probably a bit longer, depending how wide the card is you're using. You know, but that 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 really is impressive. You just have to measure your own panels. But um, Christine is kind of going to show us at some point during this one day special how to do this box. But if it's for framing, uh, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, why not? Why not do this? Because we, th we think box frames are in fashion, aren't they? Why not do something like this? A nice sheet, a sheet of acetate over the front. It's going to be beautiful. But again, I do think with this, it could be you know, gloves inside here. It could be scarves. It could be a little, a, mi a little hamper, a miniature one you open up for Christmas time. But that is absolutely perfect. And uh, the, ch the, the ch chances are, if you've bought a gift for somebody, we wrap it, don't we? We don't just hand it to them. It's just weird, isn't it? Hand it to them. <laughs> That's what I am. Uh, but um, this, it, we wrap up. It builds up the hype. It builds up the suspense. That's what this is all about. That is promising a beautiful gift inside. And we talk about card making. Cards are, especially if it's handmade, they are gifts. The amount of work and creativity you pour into cards, they deserve a box. Especially if it's obviously, practically speaking, heavily embellished too. Uh, equally as good, £36.98. Save that £5. 994-613. Uh, this by Card Making Magic. It's almost box making magic here now too. I wonder how much it would cost you to buy a box like that. I was thought, shop. well, I spent, I've sure spent, spent best part of £5 on a bottle bag. That's oh the bottle goodness. bag. Oh, I have. No, I have. Now, oh, it's a different, but for this, I don't know. I mean, can we make and sell these, by the way, Christina? Yes. So, yeah, if what you... price would you put on this? Have a think at home. What price would you put on that? I, I would be confident with 10. If you, well, yeah. I think ten pounds. I'm only I'm I'm only basing this on the fact I spent five pounds on a bottle bag and I bought it and I don't know why but it's one one's a nice. Uh, I think the bottle bag was more than the wine. <laughs> it was Probably. a three pound fifty nine bottle of wine <laughs> and uh, it was lovely. It was a uh, it was a nice uh, yeah it was a nice two thousand nineteen capsa uh, and. Uh, <laughs> But the bottom bag was more than the bottom. Anyway, uh, but this one, 30% of the stock here is gone. Save that five pounds. If you're gonna get it, do get it now. This for wrapping up your presents. Uh, this is the fun part. The, the, I would say the boring bit, the hard bit, the measuring, the cutting. And if you don't get one corner right when you're measuring, knocks the whole thing off, looks amateur. What if you're doing a hundred of these you know, for weddings? Uh, do you know I've got to say 994613. You won't see this price ever again after six o'clock tomorrow, but I don't think the stock's going to last. I don't think. When we're the third gone, launch show. Uh, we've only got 15 minutes left, actually, on this. But thanks very much, Christine. Okay. Christine. So there's your box with the base. It's lined inside. You've got a nice decoration on the top, and that will all fit together, ready for you to fill it with whatever you want whatever to you fill want. it yeah, with. Yeah. Candles, yeah. tea lights, chocolates, whatever. Whatever you want. Okay. Do you very want nice. me to do that one? Go, we can. Okay. We can do. Okay. If you need a minute, we can give you a minute. Right. So I'm aware we did speak a lot at the start of the show, so you know we're all we about did. demonstration time. Right. So it's you, only fair. you fold all them in. Right, okay. All of them the same way. Yeah. Yeah. All in towards the card. And what weight of cardstock do you recommend then, Christine? Is that important? It so is. You'll get the feel yeah, of it. It is if you want to make your boxes sturdy. What? 260 or something? Well, that that I've used, I think that's about 300. Yeah, it feels like it. It's it? a real sturdy box, and I've lined the inside as well. So right, I've lined it. the bottom of it as well. That that is mightily impressive. I've got to say, it really is beautiful. But again, that could be something. <laughs> Think what dice you got. You could do something. I could do something for my, um, uh, for your nephew, for example. The next birthday present it could be in a box like that. It could. Yeah, you could put make it really cool colours. You know. Yeah. Why not? And I mean, great. it's not it's not gender specific. You can make exactly. that in blue and fill it with smelly stuff for men, and it's just as it's just yeah, as good. Yeah, I like that. Miss I off the flowers. I feel like I'm holding it. up the team here. It's okay. And I am, aren't I? Yes. The same, the same is to hurry up. Oh, I've just finished, actually. Okay. I so think I'll find you, it's You've got two now scored. the same. Yes. Folded in the same. So you're going to put your glue on one of them. Just on that octagon bit in the middle. And you're going to layer this one on top. Okay. Now, if you wanted to line this, now is the time to do it, again, with these or with any of the other dies that you've got. 
and that would give you a nice display. This would also be beautiful done with a picture in it. Would, well, yeah, it's crying it. out for a picture, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, Joy, if you've got that easel, uh, not not easel kind, I'll show you what I mean. It's like a stand, isn't it? I suppose easel. really. Uh, sorry, easel. It is an easel, isn't it? It is an easel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this, this isn't the one that's special. This is something completely separate. That's going to be absolutely perfect to display a photograph made with this octagon frame. It is. That really works. If it's something you've received, and it's also nice for the for the person who's made it, to whether they come around to the house to see how much you love it, how much you're proud to display the card. But just photographs. This could be something on your desk at work. Yeah. You know, why not? Uh, it would be great to have something with the kids, the pets. Okay. Looking. Now, all I've done is put glue on every other one. It doesn't yeah. matter which one you go to first, but you need to put glue on every other one. So I just happen to have picked the one that's got the tabs on it. So we'll fold them in and we'll glue that down. And once those are glued down, they will sit like so. So now I'm just going to pop a bit of glue onto the tab right. of each one. It's well thought, Richard, and that's what you need. Again, no measuring. And actually, octagons are good because you got you can stand it easily. You know, okay. you're not going to angle it on a wonk, are you? It's going to be on a flat, flat end. Now, once you've done that, fold <laughs> this bit in and tuck it right underneath. So we need some glue on this as well. Yeah. And we're going to tuck that right underneath, and that will create your frame. And I've just pushed that bit down there and I shouldn't have done that. OK, right. well, it doesn't matter. So we'll put some more glue on there. Mm -hmm. And there. And there. So now we're going to pop these under. So that that slides under in. there. Yeah, give the glue a chance to set up. Yeah. Because normally at home you let the bits dry first. Yeah, you? obviously you'll be a lot neater with so yours. Can you just tuck that bit in? Can I do yeah, anything? of course you can. Come on. I'm intrigued. Yeah. There we go. So you always score it first, don't you? Yeah. And if I just tuck it around like so. That's it. Make sure Gently it's pressed onto it. the tabs, yeah. And there you go. Okay. So let's just re-glue this bit where it's come undone. So we'll glue that bit down. I'm going to hold it there. Straighten that tab. That's better. Put some more glue on there. And we'll tuck that one under now. And there is your frame. You won't do that with yours, obviously. That's beautiful. But I'm well aware that we're running out of time, so... No. Oh, no, no, we appreciate it. We're at ten minutes, actually. It's flown by. Flown by. OK. That's lovely. So, there's your frame. Well, no, we get the idea. Yeah. And that fits in your box. Yeah. And that's another way to give a gift. Or, as Paula suggested, yes. make lots of these fit them into this box you could push a hole in there and put some ribbon through it and a little tie that's a nice idea slot them in yeah. and you could have different layers of, of chocolates or little cakes little cakes or biscuits like an afternoon tea kind of stand yeah could do why not why not there is such a lot you can do with it but it's nice to see that that bit's all done now in terms of um the the fun bit i think do think is the embellishment part which is so so fun uh, they're all very smart can we have a look at this one properly is that right <laughs> just the... you just want to look at the chocolates don't no you? <laughs> it's, it's, no it's quite high, quite high in sins uh, i'm not doing that today very. but um i've got to say in terms of ribbons we've got um think what embellishments you have at home yeah. to dress these up they're gorgeous aren't they but very, you, very you've got lots of dyes within the set to create your own flowers, like this one, with yes. the poinsettias on it. They just happen to be some mulberry flowers that I've got in my stash at home. Well, there's a lovely selection there, um, Christina, thank you so much. Beautiful demonstration. Very easy, but it's all kind of done for you. Uh, don't forget, we've got a lot of inspiration for you right there. If you want to do large boxes, uh, you could do thin boxes. These, uh, not only for your gifts, also for your frames too. But speaking of which, let's have a look at them in action. This is Car Making Magic Live on Hojana. <laughs>
Well, a third's gone. Paula, gone. Tell us, why do you think that is? Why has a third of this one special already left us? Because it's great to create the boxes for your cars, boxes for your presents. To create is a box kit by Car Making Magic. It's full of beautiful dyes that will cut precisely and create you that octagon shape like matting and layering and you are also getting in in here the frame the octagon box frame kit that like fits perfectly inside it so it creates the in and the out it creates all those beautiful layers the sentiment the trellis it's included all those bits so there you have it the assembled six yeah. by six box the base and the lids you make with and the one die yes in this in uh, and you can uh, you can see the the also the um the holly holly leaves leaves and the very the poinsettias in there as well but also you have got in this set the uh, frame box die that creates that gorgeous kind of a frame in the element so you can display your pictures you can put some ribbon like we have done here with your pattern papers if you want it <laughs> you have got included as well those um you know layering dies octagons from the six by six side well a little bit under to uh, the even the smallest one, so perfect for sentiments in there. You are getting basically, uh, I think, 10 layering dies in this set, mm -hmm. and then in total you're getting 37. Well, um, it's a good bundle. It's it a is. big bundle, you know. Um, should we have a look at the boards? Yes. I, I do like these ones, because um, they really make the point, these boards, of yes. how many different combinations. You, you, yep. you might think of more of these than power. So if I show you the metal in here, Lovely. you can see how that one will cut and score every light every line so this one will be the one that will cut as Christina has shown you the base and the lid for the octagon box then you have got the perfect matting and layering I did cut them out of color so you can see how beautiful they work together the trellis die the one for the sides as well trellis is smart it isn't is it? You very know. smart and uh, we wanted to have the little dots detail, in too. there to put the perfect pearls in there to put your your buttons if you want yes them to follow isn't yeah, it, it there is a think about inking through them Th thinking about putting an ink pattern in here you have got details like the stitch detail around the edge and then of course if we move to the the next one down well, this is impressive. you can see how there is no repeated size we, if within even the frame box kit there is no repeated size you have got a, you know different sizes in terms of the stitching detail or the scallop then you have got the poinsettias in three different sizes the sentiment the warm wishes which you have got the matte and layer as well in there you have got the ivy whether it's the three uh, you know it's the most beautiful little three babies with the larger ones the the regular leaves if you want to not make it christmas the hinge to to you can use it it is a hinge but what is it it's so oh, right. you can actually put it in around the edges so we haven't just to add support if you want yeah, it oh there. i see and then a label for some sentiments and two flourishes well, as well cracking deal 36 pounds 98 75 pounds 994 uh five minutes left so i can say hello to christina yes of course christina, come i will be right back nice one pallet yeah. um have a look right here they want to display maybe the box frame is going to make from the one day special display it on that beautiful magic uh card making magic rose easel if you got Photographs on there, cards, cards you just made. Uh, maybe you've done some beautiful bits of art, maybe from the crafts line with Barbara Gray at the weekend. Then why not display it like that? Well, it showcase your work and other people's. That's what it does. That draws the eye in the room. That makes it a statement piece, doesn't it? Uh, the one on the right there. I'm just thinking napkin rings. rings. I love that. I'd love it. Um, right, we have got more uh, deals though. Something else we haven't seen, by the way, is the A2 card and box set. So uh, three six three eight. Four eight zero. That's twenty three ninety nine, saving three pounds. Now it has been on before, but we haven't seen it properly yet this hour. So uh, lots of essentials there as well. Beautiful, love it. So we're joined with Christine as well as uh, Paula. Christina, thanks again for the show. We've got about four minutes left. Okay. We can make a start. Oh, we're doing the easel. We'll just quickly Fantastic. do this. So this yeah. is your large piece that will cut out your base, and it cuts out very quickly. Yeah. Now what I like to do is make this a nice strong base to hold the card. Okay. Now if you're cutting out the large um, filigree piece, it is very detailed so you will need to shim your card. Now down the centre of the other piece, you'll find um, a score line. Yeah. So you're going to score it. I like to cut this out twice. So I like to put one on one side and I like to put the other one on the other side. And that just gives it the strength that I need. You could 
actually glue two of those together if you wanted. Um, depends really on how much embellishment you like to add to your cards. Very nice. But if you glue this well together... It's a large die, you know. It is a large die. And people might be thinking, well, I've already got um, a, a, an easel like a stand, die. Yeah. But the other one... I haven't seen many, you know. Well, I brought another one out a while ago, but right. it's the smaller one. Can you see the difference? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So for this is the really big, big one. Yeah, this is a really big, big more one. More substantial too. That will go with your, your A5 cards. So we'll add some glue all around the edges. We'll add it to the base. It's all been scored. So now all you need to do is just bend it in half and then decorate it as you want. So I've put little rhinestones on nice. these little gemstones. Nice. And once that's bent and you've added your card to it, that gives you a really nice effect from whichever angle you view your card. So when that's on your mantelpiece, people when you're can walking look at the back. Past, yeah, people can you look don't at the back. back. If it's, it's in the decorated. bay window, uh, when you walk into the house, you might see it at the back of it. Why not? Yeah, true. But I think that's really pretty, and it really is a useful addition to display well, your beautiful cards. It is. Cards. So it could do boxes as well, can't it? Am I being yeah. a bit optimistic yeah. with this? No. I won't because it's just been just been drying, but you can display those too. It uh, could be frames. It could be, you yeah, might have well. a big 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, that could hold an A4 piece of art, couldn't it? Oh, there we go. It could be an A4 <laughs> piece, couldn't it, really? Yeah. Um, well, it's been a lovely selection right there. Uh, let's say hello to Paolo again, uh, too, because Paolo, um, I know you're a huge fan of this one day special. But yes. Um, wh why would you be buying this then, if you sat at home? I would be buying because it's an octagon box, eh, because it has got the matting and layering dies. It has got a lot, it's an amazing value. And it allows me to create, more importantly, that frame box really quickly and easily. I yeah. mean, it's so easy to put it together. And it gives you something very different from Christmas. You know, not just a square not just a rectangle but an octagon yeah it is isn't it it is and uh, it's, it works well with uh, other shapes like you said now Christine you did mention being able to do this at some point during the one day special we're going to try and do this we're going to blog it perhaps as well no I'll do I'll do a, um, a video on a video. that over the weekend oh sorry so this way. oh be, I see it'll probably be on my blog on Saturday uh, Sunday or Monday but, uh, sometime soon that'd be fantastic over the weekend um, how do we find your blog again just so people get it's the inspiration flowers ribbons and pearls fantastic thank you very much but that is actually beautiful so if you buy this, it's quite nice to look forward to the weekend to get that added mm. uh, demonstration. That's well, wonderful. It will, I'll show them how to turn it from this type of a box into something to like that. that. Well, do you know what? We're going to be busy. Um, thanks very much, guys.